Hello everyone, welcome back. Sorry it's taken so long to put out my last video, it's been quite a chaotic week here at the house. Sick people, lack of deck cohesions, oh, new, new set so I had to learn a lot of new cards and there's some interesting decks coming up here. But for now, we got a red white, or sorry, red black, uh, kind of pressure haste deck, I guess of sorts. Let's break her down. So the usual one drop for me when it comes to black is Evolved Sleeper. The 1-1 one, one black for tapping three different abilities. The first one gives them a 2-2 two, two cleric base. Uh, second one makes them a 3-3 three, three Phyrexian human cleric. And then the third one with two black and one another gives them plus one plus one counter and draw a card. One of those cards that comes out early and continues to be relevant even as the game progresses. Uh, also lets them get big enough to get around some of my board clear cards. Greedy Freebooter, another great one drop. Most people don't like killing it early because it gives you mana nice and early, which, you know, when you're dealing with a speed deck, that could be sometimes the game. Uh, and in the case, again, board clear is out I have. Uh, you don't care if he dies. He, he's a benefit, sometimes more benefit dead than alive. Chump Blocker, extraordinaire. So there's so much red white weenie decks going on around here it's actually one of the reasons why i end up making this deck because they're just all over the place the new set brought out some really powerful token creation token generation um you know the ability to cast cards enormously with you know only a couple mana and the festivities is one of my answers to that again if it kills the freebooter don't care the sleeper can get big enough it doesn't matter to him and nothing else is affected uh so Drop it on them, clear the board, hopefully. If not, it's still a good way in conjunction with some of the damage. You can still finish them off. If you were to pick any slot in this deck that could be minimized a bit, this would probably be the one. Uh, Bitter Triumph, another black creature, Planeswalker removal that's near a staple now compared to all the other ones. You can choose to either throw a card away or pay three life uh, in addition to casting this spell. Uh, Many times I'll choose either or really. It, it, game, the deck's very flexible and giving you both. You don't have anything to really give you life gain, so be careful when you pay the life. Tenacious Underdog. One of my favorite two drops as far as being an aggressive creature for 3 2. Uh, and then if he goes to the graveyard, you can play its Blitz Cost, uh, 2 black, 2 other, or pay 2 life, and it comes out as a 3 2 haste that when it dies at the end of the turn, you draw a card. Or if it dies during combat, you draw the card when it goes to the graveyard. So card draw, really good. Pressure, really good. Three attack for two casting costs, also really good. Um, Shakedown Heavy. A card that works well uh, for only three casting costs. It's a 6-4 menace, so it's huge. It's not easy to block. Many times players will just let you draw the card, which means it's also going to be a perpetual defender for you and a card draw. Good card in conjunction with Sheila Dried, lets you draw cards and then gain life. Uh, Herborask's Forge. This card, if unchecked early, uh, starts generating massive creatures. So it's a one red, two other artifact. At the beginning of the combat of your turn, put an oil counter on the Forge, then create a one X, one red Phyrexian horror creature with trample and haste where X is the number of oil counters on the Forge. Sacrifice that token at the end of your next end of the next end step so it's never going to generate a creature that's going to be around for defense it's pure offense 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 it's also an answer to some of the board clears that i've been seeing there's also a lot of blue white flowing around uh the herborask forge allows them to clear the board and then you still be able to attack with creatures so even though they might wipe out your defenses the forge presses on um, brotherhood's end uh, one of the other answers to these white red proliferation token generation decks three damage to each creature a lot of the time again don't care if the freebooter dies don't really care if the underdog dies they'll both still be beneficial after the fact many times your sleeper will die but sometimes you just have to get to these things it's also clearing the board so that then the forge can generate uh, tokens to overrun them because they won't have any defenders it also works well uh, with the dross if you have to drop, have him out there and drop that, uh, the Dross can generate a lot of extra damage from all their creatures dying. 
The Shakedown Heavy gets around to 3 damage because it has a 4 defense, so you can board clear and then attack. And Sheila Dread also doesn't care about 3 damage. It just rolls over everything. So it also has then the secondary of uh, benefit of destroying all artifacts with mana 3 or less. Now if you have a Forge out there, you'll have to think real hard whether or not you want to do that. But if you don't have the Forge out there, that can clear out a lot of those pesky artifacts in just one swoop, all gone. Uh, and it's the only artifact in the deck that you have to worry about uh, affecting. So it's not usually... Most times I do use it for the damage. And this, the uh, the artifact is just coincidental. Um, the only card from the new set that made this. And it's because it works actually really well with, end of, uh, with uh, Brotherhood's End and Burn Down the House. So one black, three other for an artifact creature. One one. That's indestructible. So that gives a lot of problems for non-exile. There are a fair amount of exile cards in this uh, meta right now, and there's obviously things like Virtual Persistence, which can just get negative negative, which takes care of it easily. So I, I didn't go big on it, but it is a card that actually can apply some pressure. Uh, I have a few times now will use the damage from this or the damage from this to clear the board. He's indestructible, so he'll just take the damage and then, well, when it enters the battlefield, suspect it. So that means you give it a token that says it can't be can't block, but it also has menaces. Then when it deals combat player to a damage, you draw a card and lose a life. Whenever it's dealt damage, the opponent loses that much life. So with menace, they have to block with multiple creatures, which means they block, they're going to take that damage to their head. If I clear the board with these, then it takes that damage and then just hits them for it also. So it's it's a double combo. It's a card that makes people concerned. They have to focus on it and use their exile. I've had people just board clear exile-wise Sunfall or uh, Farewell just to get it away from them. And it just frees up my other cards that I'm usually holding back if they're playing those colors I need to worry about. Archie into the Dross. One of those cards right now, uh, being so big, you can pop off any of your damage cards. It doesn't care. It uh, Also then, for each creature that your opponent loses they lose two life so if I'm burning down the house and or using the Brotherhood's end to deal damage it can take the hit they lose a lot of life from the creatures they lose and then you can just fly over and attack it's a decent beef and it flies and most times you you know you're not hanging around for it to lose the game from losing its uh, oil counters you want to have the game over by then anyway if they your opponent just doesn't know where to kill it uh, Sheila Dread. That's again plain black. You almost have to look for reasons to not have this in your deck if uh, you don't have any spots to put it in as a forecast, a forecasting cost. It's just a fantastic card. Gain life when you draw cards. They lose life when they draw cards. He is one or she is one of those things that when it hits the board, your opponent will either address it right away or it's going to run amok all over them. Burning down the house. I've already mentioned it a couple times now. Two red, three other for a sorcery. Choose one. Burn down the house deals five damage to each creature and each planeswalker. Or create three devil tokens. When the creature dies, they deal one damage to each target to any target. They gain haste until end of turn. So it can drop three one ones that can haste right away, or it can deal five damage to everything. Uh, well, creatures and planeswalkers. Um, most times I choose the damage. It, it does affect everything you have except for the dross the dross can take it and the servitor just doesn't even care you hit the board the servitor deals five damage and then still attacks anyway but again so much massive amount of creatures out there this is one of those cards that just addresses when your opponent's creature numbers get out of control and then the last card in the deck chandra hopes beacon two ca two red four other for legendary planeswalker Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, copy it. You may choose new targets for the copy. This ability triggers only once each turn. So anything you use, like a bit of triumph, festivities, brother's end, burn down the house, she duplicates it. Now, if she duplicates the end or the house and you use the damage function, she will probably end up killing herself. So be careful that you use it. Probably going to use it as an end card or desperation card if you use that effect. Uh, otherwise... Uh, it's her first ability is add two mana of any combination of colors that can be used to cast anything. Uh, second ability, exile top five cards of your library as you use the end of the, 
Until the end of next turn, you may cast any instant or sorcery spell from those XL cards. And then its last ability, X, deals X damage to each up to two targets. That's usually the ability I use the most um, for a variety of reasons. It's just a good ability to clear out that side of the board. You know, if you have things out there that are nagging you. Uh, but also, there's been a time or two where I have used Burn Down the House with her out there and the Servitor. And she just deals a ton of damage because it goes through the servitor's ability so possible other flex spot she is expensive so if you want to make the deck a little faster probably this would be the one i'd look at but whenever she came out she always made a difference so and then our lands seven swamp seven mountains again i'm going with the lack of tap the couple times i did have tap lands including the the creature the red black creature tap card uh, or the uh, if you have two or fewer, uh, three or fewer, whatever it is, uh, dual land, they were burning me. Later in the game, you do not want to draw cards that are tapped. This this deck is very reliant on getting its land drops. It has 25 lands in it, and sometimes even that doesn't feel like it's enough. The early game, you do pretty good, but trying to get to these higher numbers, you don't want to be pulling a, a tap land when you need it. I'm not a fan of pain lands, but this is one of those instances where it's worth having. Because if you need the doubles uh, for the land, the mana counts, then do it. And then Cavern of Souls. Put this in your deck to never see a blue counter spell again. Uh, it's funny, you don't play with them, see counters all over the place. Do put them in your deck, you rarely ever see them. Funny how that works, but that's probably just confirmation bias. That's it, guys. This is the kind of deck you hit the ground running, hit them hard, um, and wear them down before they can get set up. If you like what you see, subscribe. Since my last video, I got 10 new subscriptions. I, I was actually feeling a lot of pressure to get a, a deck out this week, but things just weren't working my way. So uh, enjoy this one. It was actually a lot of fun to play. Um, it clearly, you're, you're pretty aware early on whether you're going to make it or not and if it goes in a late game this deck isn't really going to hang out there for you unless you know you get some kind of combination of cards but if you're locked down forget it pressure 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 tenacious underdog especially with his blitz ability is very valuable uh if you get that mana and shield dread out you can help yourself quite a bit so give her a try guys let me know what you think in comments and uh thanks for checking it out have a great one some more magic arena up against kitten clubber well there's a nice happy name going first i'll accept absolutely now let's get this out and see what they play tenacious underdog go blue white blue Attack, see what happens. Bring it another one. If they counter it, then at least I have it to cast next turn. Good speed off this draw. So much. Two little blockers, just nice. And since we have the aggression going, we're gonna just hang tight. Because they have to have a board clear the blue white. Everything they do is board clear. Oh, you know what's coming now, right? Both of them. Well, oh, that's just me. See if they like the drops. Hmm. 
Now they must be just fans of the Emperor, right? Not a fan of that card. I would guess if I was you, you do. That doesn't give me much else, right? Or it's a card we know he doesn't like. And that uh, he can't stop. Some mana, so what do I do? Well, I gotta get the forge back down. It's clear they don't like that. And let's go with this for the instant push. Push that back to here. Well, that's pretty much how I wanted it to work out. Drawing a card's not exactly a bad deal. He's willing to tap out, so I'm not sure how much mana he get or how much countering he could have. You always have to worry about that emperor. Do we worry about another one of these? He doesn't touch it. Isn't that into dreezing? clearing here any minute now or he's just looking for something looking for happiness in all the wrong places I don't like his chances and neither does he well here we go one down many more to go. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you next match. Magic Arena time. Dr. Pong, my opponent. One more mana, we could be shaken. Let's see how fast we can get the Freebooter taken care of. See how fast Dr. Pong decides he wants his hand. Ah, oh, Pong. I remember playing that game. Back in the day. 
Oh, he goes for the old mulligan, eh? Point it goes. Not a fan. Not a fan. See, the freebooter's not going to really do anything, so we're just going to drop down heavy and keep the freebooter for a defensive position. I mean, it could be a dinosaur deck. Oh, there you go. Boy, does that ever beg the uh, Brothers Hood end? Ooh, he damaged everything. Yes. Because that was gross. I'll take that land. I'll have to come over and attack for six unless you want to send it back to me. He takes it. I like it when they take that. That's a good punch to take. Paleontologist, go! Paleontologist, go! Keep that man a lot levels down. Thanks. I know you don't mean it, but I appreciate the sentiment. You're going to be a past tense. And you won't matter. Keeping him suppressed before he can get all his pain out on me is a, a nice way to rock this deck. Before. You go right out there. In goes the heavy. Back comes the heavy. I didn't have it. Drop that. And get the top two now. Oh, black and green. We don't need them. And then goes my shakedown. Come back my shakedown. Never to be allowed to hit him again. Dr. Pong's new strategy. We can take care huh? Just keep drawing those lands. So... What if I was to drop that twice? Does Chandra plus my Servitor mean it's game over? Let's find out. It's now or never. I'm sorry. And you're done. Well, that worked out very well. Getting land and aggression always helps. Well, did you like that? Yeah, everything worked out the way it's supposed to. Go figure. Alright, sample number two down. Catch us on the next match, everyone. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us. More standard magic. Ranked one. Ranked best of one. Going first, good. No cheap creatures, bad. But we'll go with it anyway. Let's see what happens. Going first does make up for a lot of it sometimes. Truly surprising. No, not really. I've seen a lot of white red around lately. Weenie, weenie, weenies. I guess we'll go this way. Oh, we're only gonna attack for one. We wanna keep that free footer back. If I can get him his fifth mana, I can clear the board on his side. 
which I suspect I'm gonna need here soon. Already off to a whooshing start. Yeah, there we go, eh? That sure is a lot of creatures. And you'll have to kill the freebooter to get by to me. It just does he want to do it in one turn or two? There we go. Finally allows him to die. I do like her, but not at the moment. Human. We'll go with, let's get rid of everything on his side of the board. That'll slow you down a little bit, I hope. A little bit. Probably should have went with Phyrexian. Hindsight and all of that. Well, that's not so bad. Get out my creatures and get running. Alex Lau, let's see what you have. Forge is getting big. The initiate is a bad card for me. But you know, yeah, there you go. When you know you're dead, you're dead. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll catch you guys in the next match. See you soon. Hey everyone. Welcome back for more Magic Arena. Mandrake and I shall give our examples of the concepts we like best right now. Another mulligan. Jace the Mulligan Man. Hi, sleeper. Get ourselves up to safe levels of mana. Black or blue white. How fun. No, not really. Yeah, well, I'll beef you up, hit you for two. And we'll just tap it. Get that hindrance to my land out of the way nice and early attack are you gonna block my heavy then no. are you gonna shoot my heavy then yes goodbye better you than Sheila dread though if it's blue white we're just gonna run into endless things like that what you got, Jace? You cannot win. Jace didn't like that, Our eh? Are beyond your hmm. Jace probably doesn't like the apocalypse either. But I would like to get rid of Jace right now before he becomes a problem. We're gonna pay a three life, because I'm not worried about that too soon. And since we're not able to do anything else. There. No attack. Jace is now gone. To a better place, one might say. The graveyard. In for more. Hello. No. No emperor. Well, let's go this way and see what he does. Because blue white's all about baiting out their cards. When you play good cards, you're just gonna lose good. Yeah, see, there we go. Bye. You would like to play a sunfall, I bet. But first, we shall attack again. My sleeper will soon be annoying to him. Oh, you're just gonna shoot him now, are you? There's no problems here, Hossifer. Uh, well, then let's go this way. Get that two damage. Oh, 
Theme Sun Falls around here somewhere. What an extreme use of them, though, right? Hello, Sleeper. Yeah, you're back. And we're just going to stay there for this turn. We'll be able to pull them out to a 3 next turn. And have them attack. Making Mandrake make his choices. Making choices. And I'll pop him back into my hand again. Drop him my land. This is three activation. Doesn't give me enough land, so let's just attack for now with the sleeper. Well, we're gonna draw a card. And then we'll probably drop the tenacious underdog. More countering? to burn the ground. Now let's go attack with this for now. Discard a card, yeah, we'll go down with the burning house. To draw land. Let's get up the silver tour. Sunfall victim waiting to happen. We got it. Don't worry about that yet. Memory deluge, eh? What you got? What you pulling? I should have my Sheila Dreader for that. Oh yeah, hit me. Because you, know, you can't block me anyway, so you must do the offense. My turn. Will you let me punch him? Hit you for three. Oh yeah. Servitor doing its thing. An attack for three, maybe. Oh no, my vent! The vent is lost. Long live the vent. Yeah, I was a pull on him. Give him a nice hat. Or draw land I don't need. Some call. Goodbye! Didn't like him, eh? Man, that's so nice to get all those sunfalls. No, 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 well, can he shoot him again? I'm gonna try. At the very least, bait him down. I mean, no, I suppose he could activate his creature. That's what it's giving him the option for. I just wanted a way to see what my next card is. And it's garbage! So I'm glad I got it out of the way. Next turn. Sure nice to get all those sunfalls that you want. And drawing scads of land. Hello, Jace. Jace make me sad. Flip a whole bunch of my cards so I can get one of my underdogs, please. And I'll just pop you right in the head for it. We can no. Boo. You 
are going to go away, Jace. Don't like you. Now, which one of the cards I don't want go away? Yeah, you. I think that's game. Drop you. And say three damage to everything. Kerpop. Well, there we go. Happy endings do exist. Thanks for watching, everyone. Catch us on the next match. Later. More Magic Arena. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Up against Vero Diabolical. A one casting cost. Two one casting cost, but you can't cast a first turn. Or, sorry. Can cast a first turn. Reading. I'm still picking this new habit of a reading. I hope this is not my future mill grinder. It's not. My Brotherhood's End could be really nice. I wonder for sure if he'll block me. Yeah, that's what I thought. Your turn again. I will block you. Promise. Oh, Kami, come on over. You don't want that free border to hit you, do you? I understand that. But he's going to. I mean, just... That's his lot in life. To be a speed bump. Yes, I'll take that land and enjoy it. Big beef. That's me. Uh, yeah, I'll attack. Why not? He wouldn't block. He's going to have to use his ossification next turn. Or sit and deliver a bit of 1-1. One, one. Vero. Diabolico. What do you have? I'm gonna block the companion because if you have the umpire companion, I think it'll hit me for anything. Ah! Out! I thought you. Chess match goes to me. Ding ding. Well, off to the next one. Thanks for catching us, everyone, and I'll see you in the next match. Hello there. Welcome back to more Magic Arena. Bear and I. Oh, that is not a good start. Especially not going first. We'll accept that this time. What to get rid of though? I think this is to be the one. There's a lot of pain down there. It's nothing good for me. Uh, we'll go for the human first, right? Maybe there we can get our sleeper out. And you can shoot it right away if you wish. Carplusian Forest. Dual Carplusian Forest. Well, let's go over and punch for one first. Make Carbara regret their life choices. Get my underdog out. And now that we have four mana in the pocket, I hope we start drawing some big beefy creatures. Oof. Not a little good for me. Giant growth. Oh, well. That was a loss for him. Don't know what they were hoping for. Too much pain. Maybe they expected too much pressure. Who knows? Anyway, off to the next one. Bye. Primal Fear and myself welcome you to the arena. Standard rank, best of one. Going first, lots of mana. 
No creatures, though. These are usually tough hands to win. But I do have enough defensive that I might be able to suck it through, so we'll find out. We'll find out. Street Fighter. Great game. One of the first arcade games I really... Street Fighter 2. Played so much of that. Throws were cheese. Dragon Punch all the way across the board. Good game. Uh, I'll go this way and your turn, Primal Fear. I'm not drawing anything. Duelist Cutter shows me what I'm up against too, so that's not all that great. Hopefully our Brotherhood's End will provide us with some uh, coverage for our lack of board presence. that veteran eater. Oh, so many things not to like about this deck already. Oh, hey, there's a card. Ooh. Um, this way, I guess. And again, there's one with that. Alright, what you got against the Sheila Dread? Probably lots. Four mana on a red-white deck. This is just gonna spin pain all over the place. Nice card. Listen, pal. I'm with the Gate Watch, so you might as nice well give up. Nice card indeed. <laughs> Watch me. Heat up Can't the see a duelist floor. coming over here. He'd just be giving it away. Oh, well, now I can. If he wants to beef it up a little bunch. You're quite ugly. I dislike that. Declared, though they can put out just a scad worth of damage still. We had to be prepared for sudden board fillings. Yeah, to see things like that, right? These are the things I know, I know. Let's run it. What do I do want? You know what? It's tempting to not, to just, yeah. I just know they can drop such a crap ton of damage so fast. It really does make the, the, uh, their side of the table quite scary, but if I can get them low enough, my forge will make me scary. Yeah, that's bad too. That is bad too. I'm not playing, so I'm not really saying it, am I? Uh, Berksian, I guess. Sure. Oh, because I did human, right? Yeah. Berksian. So. He'll be a 5. He'll be a 3. I can attack with another 3. Take 2. It's enough that he'll have to defend, but his counter-attack could be the kill for him. I'm pushing. I got lethal, so you have to block something. I want her to block. Yeah, yeah. Liking it all so far. Oh. A lot of people. Not a card I care about. Getting rid of fur is important. 
All right, can you finish me this turn? Probably very close, because he's got a got cards that could hurt me. I do too, though. Maybe four. Not gonna be the four. I don't think I've got. Oh, that's a good card, because that's game. Put that in little constructs. It doesn't matter. We'll flush that board here with this hole. And then we'll end it with our forge. That was a nice top deck. Those are the top decks that frustrate people. If only he knew. Boom, that's five. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let's go for one more. I'll catch us later. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Welcome back for more Magic Arena Standard Rank Best of One. Alberto and myself in the house. Alright, we get a turn two Tenacious Underdog. What do you have? Red. Mono Red. Come on over, Phoenix Chicken. That makes no matter, so let's get the red joke. So the shakedown heavies might end up just being door stops for a bit until I can start holding my own, but red's just gonna be a mess for a while now. So much hurt. Don't you have any humanity, Alberto? That'll be a good card later. For now, I need more blockers. Actually, that'll be a good card next turn, I guess. Yeah, you can shoot him. I prefer you shoot him than me. Yeah, I don't want you going for me. Though. Stop shooting me. Stop. Put down a lot of creatures, preferably none with haste. That's my recommendation for this turn. Like even the, the mole man looked at me just when I said that. He agrees. He concurs. Look, he's researching it to prove it. Creatures, no haste, and attack with the Phoenix Chick, and call it a turn. Well, he's not dropping any creatures with haste, and he did just attack with the Phoenix Chick. What else do you have, sir? What kind of mono deck, mono red deck are you running over there? One with lots of pain? Well, I'm gonna attack with this. And cards he has in his hand aren't going to be able to finish me. Get that chicken out of my face. What do you have? Lots of land. Ooh, he doesn't have anything useful. That's got to hurt him. So let's get that shakedown heavy down there. Drop another shakedown heavy here soon. I'm on a red deck pulling land. That's got to be frustrating. They only need like three. And I'm just going to keep dropping the stuff that gives me hope. Oh no! Well no, you, you can keep that. Um, yeah. Draw your card, give it back to me. Cheesehead. That was your plan, was it? Take my creature and bonk me in the head with it? Well, let's do it again. Have that. This guy should could be game over too if he has another one of those. What do you have, Alberto? More land. Swift spear. Another swift spear. So you're saying you're doomed? Because I'm gobbling one of those. Well, there you go. Red hates beef. That was a quick six. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like what you see, subscribe. Hit that like button, because apparently the algorithm really likes to spread these videos around when people are liking them. And uh, hit the notification bell so you can catch the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one.